Hey guys, this is Mac Kids in the One with Mac Programming Lesson 4. In this programming lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to use both NS Slider and NS Progress Indicator. An NS Progress Indicator is kind of like a loading bar. So it's like a little, you know, thing that like loads. Whenever you're copying a file, you will see one. And an NS slider is something that you can slide back and forth, such as the volume adjustment thing that like indicates a value. So I'll open up Xcode and I'll create a new project. Application, Cocoa application, I'll call it NS slider and NS progress indicator. Okay, there we go. And so this is actually pretty easy. I'm going to, under classes, create a new file, Coco Objective C class, and I'll call it App Controller. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using for our, all our link ups in Interface Builder. So we're going to have two IB outlets an IB outlet for a NS progress indicator, and I'll call that progress1. And we're going to have an IB outlet for an NS slider. And I'll call that slider one. And we're going to have one IB action that is slider value change. Okay. And I'm going to implement this slider value change right in here. So. Right now we'll have an outlet for slider1. So what I'm just going to do for now is log slider1's value. So I'm going to nslog percent %lf, that stands for long float, that's a double, slider1, double value. So the, um, a double is like an int, except it can have decimal places. It's so there are actually four different types of numbers. An int, a float, a long, and a double. A long is like an int, and the double is like a float. In this case, um, to print using, say, nslog, a double, you use percent %lf. And that will just change to be the next double parameter. So right here, whenever we slide the slider that we're going to be hypothetically linking up, we're going to have in our console a log of what the value is. So now I'm going to edit up main menu.xib and I'll call it ns slider and ns progress indicator just for fun. And I'll drag on, you guessed it, a slider and the progress indicator. So here's a progress indicator loading bar. So on the loading bar for now we're going to set intermediate to be false so we're going to uncheck that and the minimum value we're going to change from being 0.20 to being 0 and then the current value is going to be let's make it 50. Okay so here we go we have our and the clone is now available. So now to link these together I'm going to drag on a new blue object to our document window. Just get that by going to window document. And on this we're going to set the class to the app controller. And so now I'll click control from app controller to the progress indicator and link it up with progress one. And I'll do the same with the loading bar. Okay, so now we have our interface almost hooked up. Now I'll just click control from the loading bar to app controller and say slider value changed. So now when we build and go, and I'll open up the console, whenever I slide this slider, we'll get a very exact number in the log of what the value of this slider is. So here it's 0, here it's 100, and we can try to get as close to 50 as possible. Nah, it's possible. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, that's pretty easy to get the value. Now we're going to also, as an example here, 
set progress one's value so you can set that double value I'll set it to 50 so now progress one's value will be 50 whenever we slide the slider so as you can see it's 50 so you guessed it we can change 50 to be slider one double value and now I'll, I'll comment out that NS log so it doesn't run anymore these things will have the exact same value how cool is that so in my opinion it's pretty cool that you can do this now wouldn't it be nice if you can make it so while you're sliding this slider the value keeps on changing not just when you let go well it's really easy to do that and here's where some new code is coming in there are two ways to do it that are pretty easy this first way you just set a property in interface builder so if we take a look here's the window you just click this and under continuous under control you would just check that and then it'll work perfectly so as we can see now it'll work because I checked continuous in interface builder but there's a second way to do that and this is a cool thing a cool skill you can have we're gonna learn how to run code when the application first opens and the way you do this is you add a new method implementation right in here you just do void awake from nib and the interface builder will call awake from nib on every single thing everywhere so here's awake from nib and here's code that will run the first time app controller is open so the first time this window gets open the second the window is opened all this code will run so I can do ns log here just to make sure I'll say program opened so that way we know that this code is really running when the program opens so now if I run this code will run when the program opens see program opened right there and so what I'm gonna do in here is I'm going to set slider one set continuous yes and so this code will run at start so obviously the slider will be continuous because I'm setting the property on it of continuous to be yes so if I were to comment out this code right here it would no longer be continuous so in my opinion this is cool and I really like it now there's another glitch in our app that you might have noticed or not when you drag the window around those things stay there and you can kinda get rid of them by doing that so how do we make it so they resize to the window and let's say there's a minimum size on the window if we click on the window right here if we click on the progress bar of the window we just have to single click it so we get window properties we can set we can check has minimum size first of all to set the minimum size and I'll click use current to make it the current size and so now the window will not be able to get any smaller than it is now as you can see and what we can also do is click on let's say this loading bar thing go under this little um, ruler and we can set it to stretch right there and now it'll stretch out and we can do the same exact thing for here so now these objects will spread out and there's a minimum size so this is how to do some cool window stuff how to use sliders progress indicators and how to run code when the application first opens so I hope you learned something today. I know I did. So thanks for watching Mac Kids in the One. Please ask any questions and comments um, right in the comment box or by personal message. Subscribe and goodbye.